we're on the road again we're out here to the sand hollow state park headed up towards the hurricane sand dunes we've got the desert roads and trails society and everybody utah four-wheel drive association here with the city we're doing a groundbreaking ceremony for a uh, staging area to get onto the hurricane sand dunes so we'll get up here and we'll see if we can even get up this road and we will take you along for the ride It's always a big party at these things. So this, this project with the restroom, the fencing, the excavation, and everything that's going into this come to about a half a million dollars. Wow. And we've raised that money from quite a few people actually. All right, we're on the road again. We're super excited today. We're headed up to Virgin, Utah. My buddy Wyatt called and said they were getting a special delivery, and it's white. And if you guys remember the last time I headed up river to get something white, it was a five ton military truck. However, this thing has four legs, hooves, and some horns. And it is a white buffalo. So we're gonna take you along for the ride and go show you this white buffalo. Coming up to Virgin, Utah, near Zion National Park. Whoa, whoa, the road's a little rough, whoa, whoa. Ford Fusion on a dirt road. Becky's driving. <laughs> She's excited. I don't want to be the one that has to get pulled out because we're driving on a oh, sandy road. Look at all this equipment up here. We're fine. Let's go check these things out. You better drive faster. You're going to get stuck. It comes with ATV. Go, wait. drive. No, they're coming for Patel's nuts. Come down here. No, he's not. I bet they are. It's all wet. We're not going to get stuck here. Now he's not ready to come out. Put your arm in. Thank you. 
Make sure they come out to get it. Or else they turn their head up and break your arm in between their face. All right, well, we made it down to the ceremony to release the white buffalo bull. It was pretty cool. We had uh, some people from the city and Zion Weeping Buffalo RV Resort. Glamping, whatever this thing is, I'll figure it out. I'm a way out. Anyways, it's pretty cool to see those white buffalo. We got three of them up here and they're kind of a rarity, but they're, uh, See how they do, whatever. Blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm thinking about something. All right, we're on the road again. We're headed up to Brian Head, Utah. Got a vehicle stuck out on some backcountry trail in the snow that's still clinging on there. But we're in the Duramax this morning, pulling the Cherokee. Gonna run up here and see if we can get them winched out or pulled out, whatever we need to do. Whoa. Take you along for the ride. About to see, man. I just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, it was in my truck. Got new wheels. I was all excited. It's a Toyota week for me. Is it? Yeah, I've had a few Toyota recoveries this week. Oh, there she there is. There she is. She's still there. That's a good sign, Josh. That is yeah, good. Yeah, all the windows are still intact. Looks like. <laughs> well, that's a question. I might. Well, go fire that thing up. Let's get it warm up to temp so you can <laughs> run it up without rattling your valves. Oh, that's true, huh? Here, dude. I have the drone chilling. That'll give you a good spot to turn around, won't it? A couple two, three pulls. Oh, I got lots of room now. Man, a couple two, three good pulls. <laughs> that was it. That's it. That's all she wrote. It's amazing how gentle it is to be 
bro. No joke. Yeah, that was money, Casey. Thank you. Up the top of Brian Head, look at that. Brian Head Peak, got the old Cherokee on the Dara Max. Me and Lincoln snuck down in there and like most our toes, it wasn't that big of a deal, but we decided we'd stop up here on the top of Cedar Breaks National Monument, literally five minutes away from our cabin and show you what we could look at. It's just absolutely amazing. And it starts right here. We'll give you the narrow shot here and give you more detail. Isn't that a view? It was just a good old time. Me and Link and the dog and a couple folks from the great state of California. It was no big deal, just a regular old toe on the mountain, which is the staple of my work. And lots of little little toes and a few big, big toes, but most of them aren't that big of a deal. And I didn't have any fireworks or fanfare, and there wasn't people lying in the streets to watch us do our job, but we got in there and got her taken care of and didn't tear up the whole countryside doing it. So that's a tip when you get in there. No reason to tear up half the country getting it done. So thanks for coming along for the ride and we're gonna head down the road and get back to the home base. <laughs> 